Eliminate everyone on the enemy team. Uh, you're gonna no stop starting. I, I just can't aim with no, this. No, 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 no. We'll see. We'll see. Right. I'm so scared. All right. Team. I think snipers are gonna be key here, dude. I don't know how far away they're gonna be. Yeah, that's a thing. Maps. Oh, I see. I see the. I'll, I'll, you'll see me in a second. Yeah. Marking an enemy. Oh, you spotted. Yeah. Enemies down. Oh, kill. nice. They're gonna res him though. I think. He's peeking. Target eliminated. Oh. <laughs> are you doing? Are you doing this? Run into the left. You're running inside like the building to the left. I seen one. I one of your myself. teammates is injured. <laughs> Will you blow yourself up? Yeah, I blew myself up with an explosion. Oh. That was my bad. I, I I climbed up, but I thought I would be away from the grenade. That was my bad. You missed. You speak. Okay, it's two v two. They're, they're pretty much yeah. They're pretty much on our bodies, by the way, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. They're on our bodies. The surveillance system is ready for access. Start hacking. Throwing a frag grenade. Oh no. Oh, oh he's he healing. Got an nope. Enemy marked. Get him. Yeah. Target. He's picking you now. He's picking you now. You're right. Single enemy remaining. He's no peeking you. He's on your. He's oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, I he's really need to heal well, this issue. He's peeking. He's waiting for you to speak. He's waiting for you to speak. Is that him right? I had in the corner. Yeah, he's right, moving. On the right. On the right. He's moving right. He's moving right. Am I blind? No. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's um, moving right. He's pushing. He's pushing. Pushing. Enemy yeah. Down. yeah, yeah, yeah. The sense is so high, man. Enemy forces <laughs> have been like defeated. Three kills though, wasn't it? It was four. You got all four. Well, one of them got revived, but yeah. I mean, honestly, the, the, the 50 cows OP. Yo, what is up, boys, and welcome back to yet another video. This one is going to be on Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which the beta for this is actually going to be released on the 5th. Big thank you to Ubisoft, though, for flying me out to Paris with a bunch of other content creators to film this early. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys 45 minutes of pretty much exclusively gameplay on the 50 cal sniper because it was pretty fun to use. Just to confirm, this video is not sponsored. They simply paid for my accommodation and travel. And the gameplay you just seen at the start was our first ever multiplayer gameplay. Unfortunately, we only had three hours to play and record the game for personally my first time ever because from what I was told by Ubisoft, this is a build of a game which has pretty much everything that there is going to be in the full game in terms of of, you know, it's got campaign and multiplayer. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. I do have more footage to share, but this video is just gonna be showing you 45 minutes because that's how much I can upload of the best parts of my experiences. For the multiplayer segment, I was playing with Marley13, Willy B, and Stard. And then for the co-op segment, I was just with Stard and Marley13. So if you wanna check out those guys, I'll leave a link to our channels in the description as well. I did try to research this one a bit, but I'm not gonna lie, I did not play the original game, Wildlands, that much. I've played it for probably five hours in total, so it's hard for me to say what the differences between these two games are. Obviously, it does look better. In terms of pure gameplay mechanics, which are new, some of these might not be new, but these are ones which I noticed. There's a tiering system of gear, so you've got obviously green, blue, and purple gear, and also white gear which you'll find in the world from boxes, from shooting down drones, which I think is also new since there's the whole theme of technology and drones taking over the island, etc. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you will have a really nice progression system right there. And your character is leveled based on the average, I guess, of all of your gear pieces that your character has. You would have seen in a multiplayer clip at the start, I didn't even have a vest on. So there's a lot of customization to level up your character to make them not only be stronger, but also look cooler, most importantly. We've got some pretty good character customization, being able to put tattoos on your arms, putting a scar on your face, obviously male and female. You have got this system I'll put in the background. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but the bivouac system where you can buff up your characters before you go into battle, whether it's going to be for more experience or whatever else you are looking to get out of your character. Obviously, we've got a brand new world and there is multiple biomes here. There isn't just the jungle. One of the ones which I really wanted to go to was the snowy one. I seen the guy beside me, Willie B was there. It looked awesome, but we didn't get there. But you can know that there is a bunch of biomes. Don't worry, a lot of progression to be done in this game. You're not going to be done with it in a few hours if you do definitely enjoy some good old 
uh, leveling up and exploration of a world, trying to find all the epic loot in all the boxes. You've got the gun customization, which you can find intel in certain areas, which will allow you to then gain an objective to unlock the attachments. And I believe you can also just find the attachments in the world. So again, more progression in the game as well. I'll show you guys the talent tree in the background as well. I'm not sure if this was something which was in the last build, but the last build which was released was ND8. So this is public now. Here you go, here's the skill build. These are a bunch of things I hovered over. Eventually I did end up getting thermal goggles, which actually weren't too expensive to get. And this is how they look. Hey, that's pretty cool. Also got a parachute so I could jump out of a helicopter and listen to it blow up while I jumped out of it. Amazing. Just to give you guys the rundown of multiplayer as well, but there's two game modes. Essentially a round-based elimination one. You can revive your friends, you can run around the map and find things to help you out like RPGs, drones to deploy to scout the enemies. You can get some kind of CCTV kind of footage thing you would have seen popping up later on in the first round there. And then there's also a game mode which is essentially search and destroy, where you plant a bomb and we have to defend the two objectives and you've got to blow up the, or one of the two objectives to win the round, or they can defuse the bomb and enable win the round. Not really anything too crazy when it comes to multiplayer, I'm not sure if there's anything else which we're planning on adding, but regardless, I'd say the multiplayer is decent. It gave us some amazing XP when we ended up going back into the main world. I think I had 13 skill points to put down, but that's mostly because we won every single game. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was something. Oh, we won every single round, in fact. There's definitely a lot more to this game that I just don't understand and that I didn't have hands-on experience with because of a limited amount of time, but uh, I can safely say the UIs were filled with information. There was a lot of stuff going on there, a lot of questions asked, and that's good. Not knowing everything about a game allows you to want to play it, to learn all those magical things. And also, before anyone bullies me for my terrible aim, the event we were at had mice, which I just didn't really like that much, and we had no mouse mats. That's why my aim is so jittery. Even in the first clip, you'll see at the start, it just wasn't the best. I should have brought my old mouse, but hey, I did okay considering, I think. I will undoubtedly play this game on release. I did enjoy my time. Like I said, I wish I could have played it for more, but this is going to pretty much do it for commentary. For the rest of the video, it's going to be no commentary, or probably mostly no commentary, because... I'm sure you guys want me to show off already, okay? So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Again, if you do, make sure to drop a like. If you don't, drop a dislike. And let's hop into some assorted segments of gameplay, which I thought were decent with my 50 cal sniper. And also a few other weapons, probably. But mostly with 50 cal sniper, because we love 50 cal snipers, don't we? Oh boy.
low. I'm not gonna hurt you. Any idea how to find this location? Awesome. Thanks.
commentary here but this is something which was mentioned earlier essentially around the island there is definitely some enemies you do not want to face against especially in the lower levels there's a lot of obviously technological enemies since that's the whole theme of the game so these were one of the types i forgot the name from the thing it was like a behemoth or something maybe it wasn't that but regardless yeah don't face those guys with an assault rifle might need an rpg for that one but we got caught while just journeying around and wanted to take a fight but we simply could not it happens. What is this place?
Sensor out. out. I'm drawing fire. Target eliminated. Fire. Target eliminated. Eyes on a hostile. The hostiles are shooting. Only a single enemy remaining. God damn it, heart. Catching up. <sighs> Deploying a sensor. I'm taking where I'm one enemy left. Marking an enemy. Target down. Target down. So you want to set assorted clips, I really did mean assorted clips, but hopefully this gives you a decent feel for how much depth the game has, how the performance is, we were playing at 1080, although the monitors were 1440, the capture cards would only record 1080, so we had to play 1080, I'm sure it would look even better in 1440, I'm really excited to play it like that. The start of the game, which if you played the beta, apparently you've already played, it is cool to see how the medical system works, essentially there's bandages and morphine, I'm not sure if there's anything else going on there, but it is just really nice watching your character bandage up a wound, so if you are completely fresh out of morphine, then you can use bandages. In multiplayer, you can't use bandages I don't think, and you have to find morphine by running around the map. Again. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just assuming things. If I say anything wrong, I'm sorry. I I'm trying, you know? You know how long it took to put those subtitles at the start of the video? It took like at least 30 minutes, okay? And why? I don't know. That was a waste of time. Ah, well. Shit, more bad guys. Everyone take cover! And in case you guys are wondering how the cutscenes are, this is some very, very early game storyline, so don't worry, it's not going to be a big spoiler. This was literally like an hour into the game. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow! My guess is... My guess is... Nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen. You have to get these people and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing villa you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck.
Yeah, Stod was asking the entire time, where did I find a 50 cal? I didn't realize, but now I know, I got it from just killing that guy. Sometimes when you kill people, they will drop more than just ammo, they can drop items. Is this going to be the best source of items? No, probably not, but in this case, I got a 50 cal, which is, gave my entire video a theme, so thank you RNG gods. Maybe it's not the best theme ever, because I know it was in the last game, but people like big snipers. I know I do. Deploying a sensor. I hear gunfire. Enemies down. Good kill. If you didn't notice as well, the multiplayer maps come with different variants. I'm not sure how many variants there is, but we did play obviously daytime and nighttime, which my night vision perk being unlocked did help a lot, I'm sure. So that at least adds to a replay value of multiplayer, on top of also getting a shit ton of XP if you keep winning, at least from what I could see, like I said earlier.
the final thing I wanted to show before wrapping up this video as well is there is a kind of stamina system. So you'll see, well, it is a stamina system. The bar at the bottom is your stamina bar, and obviously as you run, it will go down. But over time, you'll notice it will get smaller. To replenish that, you need to either go to the bio thing that I can't pronounce, or you can see right there, the little red part on the left and right side, um, or you can go ahead and drink water, as you see my character do right there. You can refill your water at any water source around the map, and that's how that works. So with the addition of a new medical system and with the camo system where you can blend into the floor, you would have seen earlier, it's definitely one of the popular things I've shown in recent gameplay videos, so that way you can blend and, and play stealth if you do so desire. Although I do definitely want to be a more marksman kind of character. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really accurate and realistic survival experience, I'm going to say. Kind of. Not really because ultimately you are just one man or woman taking on the world. But, yeah, the bandage system plus the I need to drink water system. Is this game a survival game now? Maybe. Not really, but kind of. Cool. Nice. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, let me know and I'll make some more. If not, then that's okay. I just won't. But I'll definitely gonna, I'm definitely going to be streaming it on launch. And probably going to be streaming the beta when that comes out as well. Anyway, you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time. Peace.